This is a 1970s Halfers Olympic. Uh, you might remember from the last video where I built it up. Well, it's now going to become my Squid Game bike. It's in pretty good condition considering how old it is. There's a few scratches, a bit of rust, but none of that really matters because I'm going to sand it all back down, starting by peeling these stickers. The headset was really smooth, no real play, but surprisingly pretty jammed up. One of the easiest ways to loosen it up, as long as you don't put too much pressure on the forks, is basically just use something to leverage against the forks to then crack it loose. I noticed at this point that the bearings in this headset was were all loose, they're not all attached. Uh, luckily I noticed before I dropped them all over the floor and lost them forever. Uh, but I just literally whipped it upside down and was able to get them out without them going everywhere. I forgot to film me uh, removing the, the cup on the top, um, but it took me ages. It was painful to watch anyway. I kind of expected it to be the same for this one, but as you can see, it wasn't. I wasn't too precious with the sanding, I just wanted it to be as smooth as possible before I put the primer on. Possibly more important when you're using an electric sander is to make sure you clean the frame down as best you can. I use a like a, like alcohol rub basically, nice and cheap for hours and I think it's like six pounds. It lasts me a few builds. I absolutely love this primer from Spray Dot Bike. You can spray it on pretty thick and then sand it down. So if you have got a frame that's got a lot of imperfections, uh, which is like just pretty beaten up over the time, uh, if you spray this on thick, uh, you can then smooth it down with some nice fine sandpaper and give it a real good fit, uh, finish before you paint. There's a lot of stencil work on this bike, uh, lots of fine details, so uh, I put those colours down first just before I move on to the vinyl stencils. I make all the vinyl stencils myself. Um, I've been thinking about making an actual uh, like a tutorial of how I make those and some tips and tricks. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know in the comments below. For the masks, uh, obviously this part is black, uh, the vinyl is the white bit, uh, but I needed to spray some white over for the shapes. Um, and then I used just like some masking tape just to cover those shapes. I didn't realize until later, but this first one here that I did just wasn't stuck down enough and it actually seeps through a little bit. But uh, you live and you learn. I'm pretty heavy handed when I pull off vinyl and I've left the, the chip black paint a little bit on this logo. So I used a fine liner permanent marker and just filled in those gaps. Most of the frame is going to be just normal clear coat but I wanted to use this spray dot bike 
metal flake just on the rear triangle. So it's sat on my shelf for a little while, uh, but I just haven't found the right project. So this is the one. Watch my trick. Sick. Still don't know why, but this shot ended up being the wrong way around. Uh, so enjoy this horrible angle. So this has never happened before. The metal flake is so shiny that I'm having to guard it from flies and bugs landing on it. I mean, it's worth it. I'm really happy with how this frame has turned out. Um, I'm gonna give it a good few days before I build it up because I want the lacquer to go really hard. Um, so if you wanna see the finished bike, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. I release videos weekly, but if you can't wait until next week, why don't you check out this video right here?